Is this the strat? No way. No way that's the strat, is it? Anyway, hello everybody and welcome to what is probably the, well, maybe the last video on it, but uh, it definitely isn't the last raid I'm doing because no matter what we get, because I'm the master of tens in Jurassic World Alive, um, hopefully we should Unlock Morton Rex. Um, I say hopefully. We are gonna. I'm t I've got 290 out of 300. So even if we get the dreaded 10, we're going to unlock Morton Rex. Oh, I can't wait. So we are trying this really weird strategy. Um, I've never heard of it before. Um, but it's a level one sloth strat. No idea how this works. I'm gonna play this like a regular Dilocheris, Dilocheris, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, I want to say thank you to the Pro C, uh, Antonio, uh, for kind of setting this up because I had no idea about this. I, I, a level one sloth strat? That's a thing? All right. I'm just wondering because I was looking. I'm, I'm assuming they always go for camouflage. Now, surely the level's what it's going to die. Okay. It doesn't die. So, are we just distracting it every time? Is, is that what we do? We just distract it? Wouldn't be surprised, <laughs> but it's so weird. Okay, distract, because I guess I can distract the um, the sloth. What does a sloth distract with that move? Let's have a look. So he camouflages, right? So he puts a speed up, he gets a camo ability, and he puts distraction on. Oh, okay. So basically, the sloth is always going to, in fact, wait. It lasts for two turns. So if he always goes for camo, that means he's, he'll, he'll, I mean, apart from the first turn, right? He's, he's going to survive. He's going to survive constantly and always put distraction on the uh, Morton Rex as long as it doesn't cleanse itself. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing that Morton Rex can do that means that it goes through, um, it goes through evasive. So all you need to do is the sloth, right? Is just constantly go for camouflage, I think. So, it's time to heal. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, since everyone's took a hit, I'll do a heal. Because it doesn't matter what happens here. Uh, we're going to get a distraction added on from the sloth. So, this sloth is actually going to be on full health. And it's going to get all the way through to the end. <laughs> oh my god. The level 1 sloth strat. <laughs> so, basically, as the sloth, it's the carrier. You can just carry anybody. Um, and I saw that when they were chatting about this... Um, they were saying, oh no, we're going to have so many, so many people who just want to be carried through Morton Raids. <laughs> There's people like, I'll be the sloth. So apparently the lower level the sloth, the better. Ooh, ooh, thank God they, they kind of evaded that because that would have been a lot of damage. So now we just go for big hits, I think. Just distraction. Yeah, I mean, well, well, the Dominus is going for it. I'm going to take the crit off. There's three distractions coming through. One from the Sloth, one from me, and one from Phosphorachus. So, this is it, guys. We... Oh, I feel like it's been a journey. It has been a journey trying to get here to Morton Rex. The first video I uploaded on this was on the 22nd of July this year. So, you've got August, June, July, August, September. It's taken three months, because I mean, just less than three months, just shy. Uh, three months to unlock it. Uh, oh, 10,000. That's not with a crit. Good lord. Okay, so this is just going to do a regular hit to everybody, except for the sloth, because he's got... Oh, wait, no! Never mind. I always thought... Oh, look at that. He does some damage. <laughs> Little bits of damage, but hey, it all adds up, doesn't it? So we're still... So now we just distract. Now I, I, we all just go for distraction. Then I go for regular hit. So this... Is the first team I've seen take on Morton for one, there's a level one, and two, there's only one healer, and that healer's me. Ooh, that's interesting. So nobody's going to take any damage. Next round, I'm assuming? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's disconnected. He disconnected. Oh, no. Oh, no. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh... Oh god, no! No, oh, he's reconnected, he's back in, but unfortunately it's too late. Now, hopefully, with that distraction, the sloth distraction, with 
the Terror Bird's distraction, the Phosphoracus distraction, my distraction. Hopefully that's going to reduce his attack to zero. Um, I I'm hoping. You no, know he's on. Oh, no. No, you kidding me. Come on, man. Oh, that's on me. Oh, dear. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, it just means that we have to go on for an extra turn, I think. Uh, he's going to do camouflage. Do I heal? Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll do it. I mean, he heals everybody, including the sloth, who's only taking like 200 damage a turn, I think. Because uh, he's going to cleanse himself. Oh, okay. Well, it seems that the uh, the early Dominus just wants to take him out. Because he's the only one doing damage here. Because the sloth, I mean, put a distraction on, doesn't do anything here. The Phosphorachus is just saving its own skin, guaranteeing the dodge. And uh, I'm healing. So really, it's 5,000 damage, I think, right? 5,000 damage? With a crit, there we go. Okay, round two. We're probably a turn less. Uh, oh god. Ooh, this is kind of not what we wanted, though. Um, because... I don't know, maybe we can do it. Maybe we can do it. It depends how much damage the Earl of Dominus can do. I mean, Earl of Dominus... I don't think its rampage is going to... Um, attack, is it? Is the rampage going to attack it? Uh, so, target minions... Um, goes for the highest attack. So, I mean, I can do some damage to, uh, oh, I don't know. Can I even target the minion? Oh, God. Um, I mean, I guess. Target the minion? I'll target the minion. There's <laughs> a team distraction. Yeah, yeah, the pros is like, you did good, be bad. No, it was tempting. It was tempting to cover the distraction on the bottom. Okay, so we've distracted him, but he's going to heal himself. He's going to cleanse himself anyway. So, anyway, the biggest threat out of the way is a raptor. Because Oh, wait, we're just going to go for regular strike and hit everybody? Oh, okay. So, distraction, unfortunately, it has to do that. It's a shame. If it had its rampage, if only it had its rampage. So, that means that I kind of have to go um, to attack Majungasaurus. Now, really, was there any need for me to do that, I guess? Because next turn... The, um, the... Oh, no! No, the sloth's gonna die! No! <laughs> no! No, the sloth would have made it if he hadn't disconnected. Damn it! And then we're getting a cleansing strike and a crit. Coming. Yeah, we'll, we'll just give up. Yep, yep. Because... Okay, we're gonna restart. Do that all again. Skip of Kui Kui. Fast forward. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's over. It's finally over. Okay. So, guys, welcome back. Been a little bit of a half minute. Half an hour later or something. Even Maybe even 40 minutes. Um, finally, we've taken out one Rex. We did two more tries with the sloth. Uh, the first one had died on the first turn. It was like, oh. <laughs> if you had a sloth that was, you know, it could actually take a hit, then you would obviously do way better. Um... So, but we tried it again, and we only got like two or, two or three turns in before it died. And you really need it to get the distractions off. That's its only job, is to distract. Um, but we've done it, finally. I've been recording for like an hour now. <laughs> but here it is. Mortem Rex Incubator. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? If we get 10, either way, we've unlocked it. Come on, come on, what's it going to be? Be like 100. Oh, 20, double it, and there it is, Modern Rex, ready to unlock. Oh my god, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, look, I've got one now, so we need to scroll all the way down the bottom. Oh yeah, my team has changed, I'm trying something different, because uh, my other team was not working. Uh, so, oh, there it is, look, Modern Rex, are you ready? The moment we've all been waiting for. Mortem Rex unlocked added to the team. Damn. There we go. It didn't even make a noise, apparently. Anyway, we're 10% of the way to getting it to level 27. So at a base 26, that has 2,000 attack, 4,500 health, and 108 speed. Uh, abilities, cleansing impact, which is pretty good. The fierce rampage is 4,000 like damage, which is very good. Um, but apart from that, it doesn't really have... It, it, it's basically a glorified Thordor, except for it can't do the instant hit and stun. 
is a bit of a shame. Although 75% chance of resistance to stun, swap prevention, 100% chance of speed reduction, so, but not resistant to lowering its attack. Which is probably why most people don't use it. <laughs> Where to find raids? Engine denies any part in the creation of this modified Tyrannosaurus Rex, but admit to tracking its map movements. Their specialists have notified a pattern of unique territorial behavior. Strangely, this pattern sometimes includes the help of other creatures. Oh, I mean, that's just, of course, saying that it, you know, the, it's uh, little minions. Oh, can we add it to the team? Can we actually take this thing out? I want to try. Can we actually use it in a battle? Or is it only for, like, it must be. You must be able to use it for battle. Hell yeah. Hell, what should we sw switch it out for? Should we switch it out for Draco? We'll switch it out for Draco. There we go. It's only level 26. Um, it has no boosts on it. Although, saying that, there is a new event coming up and it is only happening, I'm 100% sure, because of the community. Um, they are having a, a an event where you can take boosts or mods, whatever you want to call boosts off dinosaurs and put them onto anything you want without any... Um, you can refund it and without the, getting the 50% uh, penalty to it. So... It might be interesting to see what a, uh, a Mortem Rex fully maxed, at, like, imagine level 30 Mortem Rex, how much damage that could do. At level 26, you know, I mean, what, what, are, the, what are the difference you, you gain? So at max, it gets 50% extra attack. So it'd be 3,000 damage. So 6,000 damage at turn two, if it survives. And that's not even thinking if it's level 30. If it's level 30, it's going to do more than 6,000 damage in one hit. It's crit chance is 40%, uh, which kind of puts it on par with Thordor, uh, which also is 40%. 105 speed, whereas Mortem's is 108, so it is base quicker. You would need two boosts on Thordor to outspeed it, I think. Uh, yeah, you would need two. Um, I mean, already base attack for Thordor at level 30 is 2,066. Um, and... What is it? You gotta see what it is at level, at level... Yeah, it gets an extra 100 at uh, level 27. So maybe it's 100 each time. So, uh, oh, should we just give it a shot? Should we should we try and do a battle with Mortem? We'll probably, if we get it. Um, I'm not expecting anything amazing here. <laughs> Never used it before. And I'm, I'm not doing too great in the battles at the moment. So, uh, I guess we'll skip this one until we get Mortem, shall we? Mortem, Mortem, Mortem. Yes! Oh, should we start with Mortem? Kind of tempted. Kind of tempted. Go on, let's start with Mortem. <laughs> See what we face up against. In Lockwood Mansion, Mortem Rex. <laughs> oh, it gets a Trico. Oh, it's level 30. Oh, and it's been boosted. Oh, not so good. Um, yeah, we're pretty much dead here. He's just going to go for uh, the Resilient, which is going to do 3,600. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. If I had boosts on him. Oh, he'd kill you, and then I'm just gonna get killed by the thing. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Months that took his months, and he was killed instantly. Wow. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? Oh, well. Yeah, instant invincibility. Uh, who didn't see this coming? Well, at least I'll distract him, I suppose. I'm not holding much, uh, like, as far as these battles go, all my boosts are held up in in creatures and dinosaurs that I don't want to use anymore. I don't want to use our Dennis Maxima. He's got, like, 18, if not even more. Is this immune to stun? I bet it is. Ah, it is. Nice. Well done. Um, so I've got that. It's like, ah, oh, God. Um, and I, it's just like, I'm waiting for this event to happen. Sorry, I'm not, I'm like, concentrating and talking. I'm waiting for this event to happen. So, oh, is he gonna go for, oh, group acceleration, really? I mean, it does hit me, I guess, but I do kill him? Eh, fair enough, fair enough, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for my, mo my boost to come back from our dance maximum for this event, and then I'll dole out however I seem fit, because that, I'm using a lot of my dinosaurs, just, or creatures don't have, um, any boosts on them. This guy does, because I was like, well, if this event's coming, I might as well just throw everything I've got onto him, because I'm not going to be, no, uh, like, penalized at all for putting boosts onto it. It's a shame they had to put this in. Uh, I had to swap into this. Oh, here comes a Trico. 
Here comes a bloody Trico. Uh, so he's gonna kill me. Yeah, <laughs> this Trico is basically my whole team just stands no chance against a Trico with that crit. Is he gonna go for regular hit? He always wastes it. Oh, that was a misstep. That was, yeah, this whole team is awful against a Trico. <laughs> oh, a boosted Trico. I mean, how much attack? 2,400. And yeah, yeah, it's not doing very hot, is it? Um, so what is the best situation to go for here? Like, I mean, he'll probably, I would assume, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume, he, like, look at that, my Urlacosaurus, oh no, I did put some on, Urla Dominus. yeah, I thought you'd go for instant invincibility. So at least he's going to do what, how much damage? 1,215? Uh, yeah, okay, well, fair enough. So I may as well just go for a distracting impact on it. Because if I kill it, I kill it. But if it switches out to something, at least I've nullified that attack. And I've still got my ace in the bag, <laughs> which is my cloak and then big hit. Uh, and depends. He's probably going to be quicker. He's not quicker. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Is that because I boosted? Yes, it's definitely because I boosted. So I might as well just go for... Um, what, okay, cleanses damage over time. Uh, he did go for the priority. He probably will go through. Does go through. I mean, I does not, I'm surprised I got two kills there. <laughs> like, n I had two dinosaurs there which had literally no boosts, and that was my Utaranex and my Mortem Rex. But hey, we saw it, and basically, in the current meta, even at Lockwood Manor, without any boosts, it's garbage. <laughs> after all the time. But hey, at least we saw it. But if you enjoyed that video, leave a like. Good luck with uh, continuing unlocking Mortem Rex. I'm sure you'll get there. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.